Hello, this is Soundatch here, back with another Transformers review. This time with the Transformers movie, Scorponok, and Revenge of the Fallen, Stalker Scorponok. Yes. Um, I got Stalker Scorponok for my birthday, um, as a surprise. So I decided to read Scorponok with him. Now, Stalker Scorponok, his name doesn't work for me. And I mentioned this in my birthday haul video. My subscribers already know about this, most likely. Uh, and that I have an alternate name for Stalker Scorponok. And it's going to tickle your fancy. Or your... Eh, whatever. Um, his new name is Zorak. Yes, that's right. The Master Force character... Or if you're not familiar with the Japanese series, the Headmaster, partner to Scorponok in G1. Uh, yes, Zarak is the perfect name. So it's movie Zarak you get here um, by buying Stalker Scorponok. I can tell by his black. The white parts I wish were gold, and I may do that later. Hint, hint, n wink, wink, nudge, nudge kind of deal. Um, still have to buy some gold paint. But, yeah, so, he's now Zarak. I'm going to call him Zarak. Um, anyway, these guys, uh, I'm going to change my plans a little bit. Um, that being my other review today will be Grinder and Blackout, since these guys kind of work with them. I want to do them one day. Um, so, as you can see, Stalker Scorponok, he's the newest one. Um, and Scorponok came out during the first movie line. But, they, the, Stalker Scorponok's meant, to, or, why am I saying Stalker Scorponok? Zarak is meant to go with Grinder, and Scorpion is meant to go with Blackout. Um, kind of deal there. They even have miniatures that are painted uh, similarly um, to this, to Zarak and, and Scorpion. Now these guys are twins in the Decepticon army in my story. Um, Zarak was the one that attacked Jetfire. Scorpion, he never came back. That's how I explain that. Uh, and I'll talk about Grinder Blackout later. In the other video that's on today, so, you know, down there, um, check in, see if it's there, or just wait for it to happen. Um, boo! So, there's not much to these guys, but, uh, I'll get to them. Um, now, they look great in their scorpion modes. Um, i.e. that they are transformers, so they have to have a robot mode, and they suck. The robot modes suck, um. Ravage got a pod mode. Why did these guys get robot modes? But, yeah. So, they're the ground twins of the Decepticon army um, in the movie continuity. And the reason Zarak came to battle is because he was mad that uh, his buddy over here got injured. and Or, his brother got injured and his partner got killed. Um, so, yeah. Now, I'll start off with Scorponok here. So you can see Scorponok is very movie accurate, I must say. Um, very nice. He's got six legs here. Um, he's got the digger claws, and he's got his face. His face really nice. He's got his tail up here. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and all that. Uh, Stalker, or Zarak, I should say. I gotta get used to that. Um, he's got these cool, he's got similar, he's the same mold. There's no remolding. I checked everything. Um... So he's got, he's pretty cool. Like I said, I'd probably paint these legs and these claws gold someday. Maybe not the tail. The tail looks nice. And there's red right here on the tip of the tail. How did that pass the toy sensors? There's a law that says Prime can't have tall smokestacks, yet they can put blood on the tip of, of Zarak's tail. Um, but yeah, they look very similar. The twins. That's how it works. Um... They got the same articulation, so I'll demonstrate Scorponok since he shows up on the camera a little bit brighter because he's a little bit brighter colors. They got articulation multiple on the tail. You can move this up and down. You can rotate it around, but this part gets in the way. Um, you can move it back. You can move this back. You can rotate it here, too. Um, but And his legs are on ball joints. You move the arms in like that, and they move the claws. Um, then they can move forward and then come back and down. And if you hold this joint, you can rotate him down if you'd like. Um, which is cool. So they, so they both have the same articulation. They both have the same transformation. It's extremely simple, though, which is a downside. So I'll, since I demonstrate the articulation of Scorponok, I'll use Zarak for the transformation. Um, 
So transform me, you want to take these legs and fold them down to become legs. Oh my god, legs into legs. Um, like that. You want to keep this piece back here, um, tilt it back a little bit. Um, you want to pull his arms down, um, so the screw holes aren't visible. And then you push his head down, and there you got Zarak in his robot mode. Uh, yeah. That's a robot mode? I don't think so. This is not a robot mode. If you want to distinguish him a little bit better from his, uh, mode, you can, his other mode, his scorpion mode, you can flip these little claw things out to give him hands. It also reveals his blasters, which is nice. Um, but yeah, uh, just transform Scorpionock here real quick. Trust me, it won't take that long. You just flip the legs down, flip the arms down, and flip the head down, and you're done. Oh my god, this is so hard. What gets me? Level 3 advanced conversion right on Zarax package. Same thing on Scorpionox package that I unfortunately lost. How is this advanced conversion? This is... I've seen mini cons more advanced than this. Enough with these crappy robot modes. I'm switching them back to Scorpion modes. Um, now, these guys can uh, also have a main gimmick here. I forgot to mention. I'll demonstrate again. How am I supposed to even this out? Uh... Now well, Zark's the newest one. I'll, I'll use him for the, the gimmick demonstration. Now they got a pretty cool gimmick uh, in that you can push this tab and look the tail switch forward and kills with somebody and leaves blood on his tail. I still think that's funny, don't you think? If you think that's funny, leave a comment. Um, and then you can pull this back and click some dice uh, and then you just you know, launch forward. So it's not a missile to get stopped by this thing here. Um, just because I know somebody will complain that I didn't show the missile on Scorpionock. It's more of a spear. There it is. Um, so overall, pretty cool figures. Oh, there's another gimmick. They have wheels on the bottom. I keep forgetting all the gimmicks in these because I'm so upset about the robot modes. There's these wheels on the bottom. If you spin them, his little drill thing spin. Um, and then this little rotate piece here also spins the drills, and this little part moves, but we'll get to that in the Grinder Blackout review. Um, Scorpionox rolls really well, and Zarak mold degradation prevents him from doing so. Um, for size, there's Starscream, so they're pretty big. Now, why do you need to get Zarak, uh, aside from him being a Zarak repaint? Simply because if you have the ground Autobot twins from the for, for the Autobot ground twins, you gotta get the Decepticon ground twins. By the way, this is Skids and Mudflap. If you did not know that already, you have to get you know the ground troop, the ground twins for the Decepticons, Zarak and Scorpionok. That's why I got Zarak. Totally realized. Oh yeah, that's Zarak. Um, so stay tuned, uh, the other video today will be Blackout and Grinder, um, instead of Leader Megatron, I'll do Leader Megatron tomorrow, but yeah, I just wanted to do those too, so, stay tuned, um, till next time, this is Santa saying goodbye.